Okay, hi there. Um, I'm Miss Randy. And I'm Adriana. And we're here to talk about all things K-Talk. Uh, we're going to talk about music and dramas and everything that we love about South Korean popular culture. So for some of you that used to come to our K-pop meetup, this is kind of a continuation of that. So today we're going to talk to you about a service that we have here at the library that you might not be familiar with, which is FreeGal. So FreeGal is a streaming soft, um, online software that we have here at the library that you can access and download uh, music and music videos. And there is a nice collection of K-pop music generated there on FreeGal. So we picked some pretty good songs, I would say, uh, to talk to you about today. So which one is the first one you want to talk about? Hi, my favorite that we listen to is actually um, by Monsta X, oh, uh, yeah. Someone Someone. Uh, it's off of their English album. Um, uh, what's it called? All About Love. Uh, it really, um, of everything that we listen to, uh, I really got into it. I turned it up really loud in the car on the way home. <laughs> um, uh, even though it is a, a, an English uh, language song, uh, it still has that K-pop feel. Yeah. And um, it also has a, a 90s band feel. Yeah, 90s pop kind of feel. Yeah, I had that um, when I was listening to the album. Because once I listened to that song, I decided to listen to the rest of the album. And I, too, was really into it. Um, even though it wasn't in Korean, I was like, wow, because at one point it hit me that it wasn't Korean, and I was like, wait a minute, right. and I had to look it up that it was their first English album, which is really well done. I really recommend it to you guys if you love K-pop, and, and you know, we, we all do love K-pop. Um, this is definitely up that alley. It still has that K-pop-y feel. It has this 90s nostalgia feel to it, and it's a really great album overall, so I think that was probably one of my favorites. But my favorite from the songs that we chose was by Seventeen, which is Left and Right, because I am a big Seventeen fan. Um, so that was probably my favorite overall song for this grouping that we chose. I really like this one, too. Um, I am not a huge Seventeen listener. I mean, I've heard a couple of things about them um, and heard some of their songs. And... I did actually listen to the the whole album is on Freegal. Yeah. So I did listen to the whole album and this would be one of my favorite songs on that album left and right. Um, I thought it was really fun and catchy and I found myself like doing left and right like <laughs> as I was listening to it. So um, yes, I would highly recommend this song as well. Yeah, I find myself uh, going back to the song often and it's been all over K uh, TikTok because they've been using it on um, a lot of TikTok channels. So I started getting into the song through TikTok, and then I decided to go out and listen to the album because I hadn't listened to the album yet, but it, it's a really good album as well. I think my least favorite from the group that we chose is probably the one off the, the, um, the King Eternal Monarch soundtrack, which is by Zico, which generally I do really like Zico, but the song just didn't... I, I like it, but it wasn't like one of my favorites, um, which is My Day is Full of You. Mm, off the soundtrack yeah i mean it's it's a, the soundtrack in general is really good i i really enjoyed it and really enjoyed the drama as well but the song overall with the other songs that we chose it just fell to the bottom all the other songs were just a little bit more intense more um i don't know i got into them a little more um, so this one was kind of my least favorite, though I still very much like the song. I can't say that I don't like it. Yeah, it did stand out. Um, uh, like the whole the whole King Eternal Monarch soundtrack is on Freegal. Um, and this one in comparison to um, Everglow and Itzy and ATs, um, you know, those were the other bands that we listened to. This one was much uh, slower, slower paced, smooth, um, definitely a more romantic song. So it was, it really stood out in comparison to the other songs that we listened to. Um, so I also am a really big fan of Zico. Um, but yes, if you, this song didn't really fit with everything else that we listened to, I would no, say. No, it didn't. I think it needs to be on, on a different playlist. And maybe uh, we'll have to review um, the song later on with some other songs, just because it, it, it really didn't fit in with the list that we made we just 
kind of chose it at random and it was like, oh, okay, well, this is very different. Um, how'd you feel about Feel Special by Twice? Of all of the um, girl group songs that we listened to, that was probably my favorite. Mm. Um, I think I do just tend to like Twice in general. Me too. Um, most of their songs uh, I, I do like when I listen to them. Um, so I, I did like this one. How did you feel about it? Honestly, this is probably not one of my favorites from Twice. Um, it's a good song. I'm not going to say no, uh, but it just, their other music tends to be more, I don't know how to explain it. It's just the high notes in the beginning kind of throw me off a little bit. They just kind of feel a little too whiny for me. Mm. Um, whereas their other music seems a lot more smoother. This one just has these very high notes that hit on certain areas of the song that just kind of put me off a little bit. It's still a really great song. Um, and overall, I really absolutely love Twice. Got to see them in concert and that was amazing. Um, but... This wasn't one of my favorite Twice songs. I would say probably my favorite Twice song would be Knock Knock. Mm. Um, although the one that I did, for me, the one that stood out of the girl groups that we chose was Wanna Be by Itzy. I really, really love the song. It's funny <laughs> because I preferred Everglow. Really? Uh, the Dun Dun? The Dun Dun. <laughs> Dun Dun was really good. I Don't get me wrong. I really like Dun Dun, but um, just... I don't know. There was something about Wannabe that it just gets you right from the beginning. And I'm just, I find myself, you know, dancing in my seat and I really, really love it. I could see that. I think, I think, um, Dun Dun is very easy to sing along to. It is. So, um, because I downloaded the Freegal app onto my phone and I can connect my phone to my car, you know, I played, I went through our playlist like multiple times, um, on my way to and from work. And I think, in the car, like driving, listening to Dun Dun, I found myself singing along a lot. So I think that's why I prefer um, Dun Dun. Yeah, Wannabe is a lot more fast paced, so it's harder to sing along. <laughs> so you're just like, oh, no, I, uh, uh, yeah, I'm just going to dance to it. <laughs> um, how'd you feel about Thanks by a Tease? I did like that one. Yeah, that um, was a good one. I It was very rap heavy, which I enjoy. Yeah. Um, and... I gotta say, I haven't really listened to much ATs either. Um, I did listen to the whole um, Zero Fever One album on Freegal as well. Uh, Thanks was one of my favorite songs. I thought it had a great beat and it had a really strong beginning and ending. Like the song, the song just felt like who? very well put together. Like strong, yeah. yeah it was just, it's a very intense song and you feel it the whole way through i think that's that's one of the things i really like about the song is that from the beginning to the end you just feel really empowered right <laughs> you're just exactly. like i'm ready to take on yes. the world yes like, <laughs> it's a really good song let me out. <laughs> yeah atiz has some some very good music i find myself uh listening to them very often and I have them on several playlists and, you know, I'm, I'm always listening to K-pop, so I'm always looking out for new artists. And when Natif came on the scene, it was it was nice to see um, some of that hip hop come back because mm -hmm. there's a lot of artists that over time they've changed their style and they're not as hip hop -y anymore. Um, but it's nice to see that it hasn't completely left the K-pop scene. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so I think that was all the songs that we really covered in this playlist. But there is a lot of K-pop music on Free Gal. So we, you know, if you have a Fountaindale library card, take advantage. You're going to be able to download, uh, what is it, five songs a month? Five songs a week, actually. Oh, a week. You can get five free songs a week. And right now it has unlimited streaming. So you can create your own playlists. Um, and like Adriana said, you can get five free songs a week. Um, they have BTS and Stray Kids and Got7 and More Twice and um, just a lot of artists that we all love a lot. And enjoy. Yes. The only thing that they're missing, which I was kind of disappointed, was they have no black people. Which, oh. yeah, unfortunately, no Blackpink, um, but You're we not. have everything else. So, you know, you definitely can take advantage and enjoy all the music that you love. And so now we should enjoy. So one of the things that we were going to do while we were doing this show is talk to you about some Korean snacks and just try out some Korean snacks and see what we like, what we don't like, because um, they're very different, you know, um, and, you know, 
you sometimes you really like certain things and sometimes you really hate them so it's it's gonna be kind of fun to to discover what we like and don't like yeah so today we're trying now it's nongshin's um Chung Yu Gua. I'm sure I mispronounced that, so I apologize to all the um, Korean speakers out there. Hangul speakers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, my pronunciation is still pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. This is a rice snack. Um, it's kind of honey flavored, it looks like. Yes. So. So let's try it out. Yes. Mm. It looks like it has sesame seeds on it as is well. It? Yeah. Mmm. Mm. This reminds me of pop cereal. Definitely. Yeah, like I just want to put mil milk on it. <laughs> um, but it also reminds me of mm, a Mexican, rice cake. No, Mexican buñuelo, buñuelos. Oh, oh, without the cinnamon. Well, from where I come from in Michoacan. We don't do the cinnamon powder. Oh, we do cinnamon. We cover them in um, in um, brown sugar syrup. Brown sugar syrup? They're fried in it. Oh. So they're like really, really sticky and really, really sweet. Hmm. So this kind of reminds me of that. But these are really good. I like this. Yes. But yeah, I do see the sesame seed. Um, yeah, it's, it's definitely... A tasty rice cake. <laughs> yeah, it is a tasty rice cake. <laughs> really like this. I could probably eat the whole bag. <laughs> mm. So this is kind of the show that we're going to do for you guys. Sorry, let me finish chewing. <laughs> As you can see, it's very crunchy. Yeah, we're so it's gonna, very good. We're going to um, talk about dramas and everything that we really enjoy about... Um, South Korean culture yes. um, because we want to connect with all of our um, teens that you know came to our K-pop meetups that we miss we miss you guys a lot we do oh my god I'm so disappointed that we did not get to do the big huge K-pop um, group that we do in the middle of the summer where we get to do the random dance challenge and we get to do a bunch of crafts and we get to just be fangirls, you know, and um, that's one of the things that we really miss about this is that we don't get to fangirl with you guys. So we wanted to reach out through this and kind of continue on so that you guys know we haven't left. We're still here and hopefully soon when all things get better, we will be able to see you guys in person. So that's going to be all for us today. This was the first one. So again, if you have your Fountaindale Library um, card, take advantage of Free Gal. Enjoy your music, stream it, and like it, and keep supporting your artists. So that's all for me. Bye, everybody.